Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Quad View. We bring you guys live coverage of the Kunatic Land. My man, alongside me is Pansy. We're going to be bringing you guys the Banhammer versus M9 CO5 again. This is just kind of one we joined in after the half started. Um, I know some people are saying, oh, go watch the Western Wolves game, but but we, we kind of all know where that one's going to go. I don't want to just stick with the top names. We need to give some of the other guys some coverage too. I would just feel it's unfair if we if we only cover the top teams. Um, because, of course, some of the lower teams might not be able to make it through to the playoffs, and it's, it's always nice to, to give some uh, coverage to the other guys. And uh, Anyway, so M9CO5 versus Banhammer. It is Crash currently. Banhammer on the attacking side as uh, they are sitting. I lie. They're on the defending side. Yeah, they're on the defending side. They're currently in the lead 8-6 as uh, M9CO5 try to push forward. Quick little rush to run down for m 9 co 5 We've got Vazik, Vazix, Hero, Kuzier, Helby, Nim, and then for Banhammer we've got Nescafe, <laughs> Camel, Fake, uh, Toxie, and Dino. Anyway, so now we are sitting here in the 15th round at the moment. We do see Vansy K being taken out there by Camel as he did spot the play over there towards the bottom hardway. Then making his way in towards A. There is a player just around the corner there. Seeing if his teammate can maybe pick it up. No, he cannot. Fake takes him out. Now, of course, Camel moving in just behind. It means the Banham actually secured himself another round. And uh, again, just looking strong so far there on the defending side. Of course, the defending side a little bit, you know, a little bit... I want to say biased, um, or crash a little bit biased towards the defenders. Preferred, I'd preferred. say. Preferred. Alright, preferred. Mm. But, uh, you know, sitting, I mean, already having six rounds at the half, you'd expect you'd expect the one seem to be to be picking it up just a little bit more. Mm. Could do, but I don't know, did go on a bit of a mid-push there, and maybe uh, Banhammer just haven't felt comfortable as yet. Or maybe they're just really getting into their stride now. Who knows, but uh, M9 finally taking a stand as Vasey, I'm going to call him, has taken down two this round already. Cameron and Escafe down and out. So advantage with M9, who are the attacking side. So maybe this is the change of pace they've been waiting for. It does seem as though the B push is definitely coming on now. As uh, Knim does work with that bomb down to B long. Drops out an A to back A. Here we go. A little bit cautious towards the B bomb site. And all right, they should be because Toxie is there. Takes down one. Now oh, there's a mountain of players to get through. As Vasey goes for the jump, does fluff it a touch. Now, he has to be careful, because there's a player just around that corner. We obviously know he's there, but he does not. So now, slowly peeking around. Will he spot the player in time? No, he's not even bothering with it. He's picked up the bomb. Run back, hoping that the sound will uh, pull out a bit of a peek here. But both players now, for the uh, band side, are making way towards the And here we go, here comes the push. Toxie takes the stand, takes down 1k, take down the second. Gets the tag onto Vasey, but not the frag. As Toxie does get the tag again on Kazuya. And here we go, Fake drops down Kazuya. Now it's a 1v2. Vasey has to get running. Gets that bomb down towards A though. So now Explosive pressure planted. onto the uh, band side as they now have to take themselves towards A from B. And it's always an up bit of an uphill struggle, quite literally as well, to get into A. So now let's see how they do. Vasey not being too defensive here. Does go for the peak onto back A. Gets some fire towards him from mid. So he has to go back in. Just uh, calm down a bit. What's that player on the chopper? And it was fake. And uh, there we go. Finally, Van Hammer once again pulling this back. And, you know, M9 looked so strong early on, but maybe they're just not closing out these rounds so far. Yeah, I, I, really don't I don't think know. they played that one really well. Yeah. Because, I mean, they had two players over towards B for some other reason. And the bomb was at A. And, I mean, it's it's not the most difficult thing on it to rotate back towards the A site. I mean, even if they're sprinted, they come under some fire, they've got enough cover to work with to be able to get them over to the A side safely. So, um, you know, leaving the one guy with the bomb over at A and two people that could, you know, fully rotate back to A, don't think that was the best move. Um, either way, though, let's see if they can bring themselves back into the game. Only four rounds down. And uh, we do see Dino trying to push up the B long alley. He's got one off to his right hand side just behind that wall. It looks like he's finally going to make his way up. Nescafe and Vazix, the only people to actually get Frank so far in this game. I take that back. Dino finally wakens up and gets himself one into Knim. And I can only assume that these uh, these names are a little bit easier to pronounce in their home language. Helby now sitting towards top hard. We do have Dino that is trying to push through mid. He has been able to push all the way up B long. And uh, unable to do m too much with it at the moment. He's, oh, as I said, he's been able to get one frag so far, but um, no doubt wanting to capitalize more on his positioning he has. Vazzy K is your last man standing. He is scoped. He's top along. He has got an AK with him and uh, has got the bomb just to make the, his life 
that ever so slightly easier as he doesn't need to run back anyway to go get it. Toxie just jumps there very happily in front of Vazek's aim. And uh, no, Vazek is being prepared. He's not looking towards Toplu. Oh, he does actually take out Dano. Now, with only 25 seconds left on the clock, he needs to start rampaging over towards that A site, clearing anything in his path and getting that bomb done as soon as he can. I don't think he's anything heard over towards that A site just yet. And looks like he'll be able to sprint his way up these stairs. There's no player around the corner. He's gone for the fake. Oh, but fake drops down from Rufe and slips into that window. Nice little work from him there to, uh, to close off that round. Van Hammer just only two rounds away from taking this in their group game and uh, securing themselves another victory. Indeed, so good with, uh, I think it's Ka Kuzia? Kuzia, I don't know, their name is awful. It's once again this whole capital letter in the middle thing, not enjoying it, but he did go for the mid push, which I always love. But Camel is standing tall, taking out his team, and there's the nade following up from Fake. And that is not what the M9 side need right now, as the Banhammer do have the advantage in quite a massive way now. So they've gone reverting back to this B-long push. They seem to get stuck in the spawn and they have to go, guys, let's go down B-long, it's our only option. And they do seem to crumble as they go down the uh, death alley B-long. Just out came with the bomb towards B-long, but the pressure is coming on to his teammate in spawn still. And here we go, can he just save him in time? Just about does do so as Dano does drop down to the AK workers. Can him dance back to spawn? Very Stuwau-esque. There are players absolutely everywhere from Banhammer. And now Helby on the prowl. Not for long as Toxie gets that AK out, drops him down. It's a 4v2 and it's not looking good for M9 right now, folks. Kanim is making his way towards blue, but his teammate just fell as he went into that blue building of doom. And now Kanim might just follow suit. Here we go. Uh, they look scared to leave spawn right now. Kanim has barely made it a foot away from where you begin. And you can see why with Bad Hammer's eyes trained absolutely on every peak and possible way he could go. 29 seconds on the board now. The clock is ticking and he's running out of options. So he's got to make a move soon. And this is for a pivotal round. To get this one on the board, it can almost secure you victory. So here we go. Can him now really did just uh, get absolutely punished for even trying to peek by Camel. So now you can see the scoreline that uh, obviously defens the defensive side seem comfortable now. They, they don't seem under pressure at all. Not at all, and I mean, as much as they're relying on Vazix, their scope, I mean, there's only so much pressure you can put on one person to bring your team forward. He's sitting on 23 frags, which, I mean, by far is above anyone else on the server. I mean, six frags above anyone else on the server. So he's playing phenomenally, and unfortunately, his, the rest of his team is just not reflecting that. And uh, it, it seems that he is really try just trying to, trying to play the cleanup game the whole time to help out his team. Once again, he's playing a little bit back though. He's stuck in spawn. His teammate's been heavily tanked up, but I'm pretty sure he'll just be thankful that the player's still alive. Um, and it looks like he's just trying to clear out towards that bottom yelly. Taking a lot of time to set up that shot, and uh, I don't actually think it's going to come to much use. He is expecting someone towards top on that glitch area. His smoke has gone out, clears out that B-long just ever so slightly, just preventing anyone pushing up at least. But um, I don't know, he's just wasting a lot of time staring at the spot. And... Uh, I really think he should get a move on. I do see him finally taking the move. Nescafe is actually all the way over on that B bomb, so not even anywhere near that Vazix was looking. Vazix is just still making his way slowly, ever so slowly down this BLE. And uh, it's actually rather odd that he didn't jump on, on that fridge and look in towards mid. As there is a player just on the car, Toxia takes him out, or Toxie takes him out, I should say. And uh, now, unfortunately for Hero, is he is the last man alive. There's two players still left standing for Banhammer, and uh, oh, shot comes in from Nescafe. It's going to close it off, and it's going to put it to a 13 6 final scoreline between M9, CO5, and Banhammer.ru. Now, uh, we will be jumping right back into more matches as soon as we can. But just to close off this one, so it was now at uh, M9C05 versus Banhammer.ru and we will be jumping over into the uh, the Western Wolves game right now to so carry bring you coverage from that one. This way, again, we just get to actually see how the teams play and still bring you guys as much coverage as we can. But other than that, I've been Menace and Pansy alongside me as we bring you guys live coverage from the Kinetic Land and uh, we'll see you guys soon.